Craig Hartsburg. And Krivo Krasov moved up on that line in place of Amonti with Daze and Ronick, and they are out there now. Jeremy Ronick moves in on the faceoff. It'll be won by Stefan Yell. Back for Lannan. Will Lannan going by Daze. Got knocked down. Daze got it onside. Daze. Krivo Krasov for the game. presents itself and says go ahead walk into it while well, Sergei Krivo Krasov walked directly into the spotlight coming into the JR line and replacing Tony Amati and he has ended this game in overtime why they bother having the intermission 46 seconds Eric Daze dished and then screened this was a deflected knuckleball that completely fooled Patrick Waugh watch it at one point, it looked like it was going over the net, and then it dropped just enough to catch the crossbar. Patrick Waugh looked like he had trouble gauging the speed on it. Grivo Krasov knew it was in. A costly turnover, too, by the Colorado Avalanche. They had possession of the puck. They coughed it up just outside the blue line, and Chicago stuck it right back in their faces and has won it in overtime. That is his first playoff goal. He won't forget it. His 12th playoff game. The Blackhawks have taken a 4-3 victory and a 2-1 lead in this series, winning in overtime at home. So they have won both of their overtime games this year. Blackhawks 4, the Avalanche 3. For Darren Pang and Bill Clement and all of our crew, I'm Gary Thorne. There's your final in OT Sports Center next.